Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Really excited to get stuck into this day. It's another day in the life, episode two. Stoked to have those who are back and watch the first episode. And if you're very, very new, I'm gonna take you around for a tour of what I get up to for an entire day of reselling. So we've got a few op shops to get into. I'm at a tip shop right now, if you can believe. You never know what you can find in these places and they're often a bit cheaper than the op shops. So we'll go in there now. Um, I've got a new office space at home that I've created. I really wanna show you that today. So stick around for that. Uh, and I've also got a couple of sales that I've been able to make that will complete at the house as well. So we're going to tour around for the day. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm really excited to get into it. So let's go into this op shop and see what we can find. So I've just finished up at the tip shop. Uh, as you can see, there were a few pieces there that could have been good, but they just weren't great quality. I passed on all of the surfboards. I passed on the bikes. They were really way overpriced. There was a lot of rust. There was a lot of you know issues with the bikes. It would have been a lot of refurb, and it was already $30, $40. So passed on those. I did pick up this, though. Um, so this is just a CD car stereo, um, Bluetooth enabled. Look, it's old school. I know they don't do that anymore with the new cars, obviously, at the moment. But I paid $10. It's brand new. It's in its box. Um, I think somebody out there, maybe refurbing a new car or an old car, uh, we'd get a bit out of that, a bit of old schoolness. Um, and then finally as well, I found the Wii Nintendo um, balance board or fitness board. Um, that's only $5 and I know I'll throw the comps up here for you guys to have a look at. Um, the power boards go for a little bit. So if I, if I always find the balance boards, I'll always buy them. And at $5, I thought that was an absolute steal. So look, all in all, the tip shops are not always a massive hit, but today, two items, $15. The CD stereo on the balance board, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good start to the day. Um, let's get into the second one. We'll get moving. Stop number three has come through with the goods. I was wrapped. That place was big. So Salvation Army, Burley Heads. If you're ever in Australia on the Gold Coast, get in because it is producing. I've got a few things. What have I got? I've found some activewear for women. Now that's ASIC. So look, I've got to grow my game in the women's uh, garments area. Um, these are only $6. I don't know enough about women's activewear or just women's clothing in general, but I do know that ASICS is a great brand and I always check the activewear because Lululemon obviously is a great one. Um, I found these. It's a cool um, color tone. I reckon they'll sell pretty well. They're in really good condition. Everyone on the Gold Coast wears the tights. So six bucks, really happy with that. Um, the next score that I found was, yeah, Ralph Lauren. Pumped about this one. This one was a size medium. It's just a button up long sleeve men's shirt. Um, no nick, scuff, scratches. It's in great nick. And it cost me a grand total of, whoop, six bucks. So six bucks for a Ralph Lauren um, polo shirt, or not polo, but a button up shirt. Pretty good result there too. Um, the next one, look, clothing was fairly light on in the men's department, but I found a really cool double XL Callaway golf polo. So Callaway is a really good golf polo brand. This only cost me $4, so I thought, why not? Uh, really cool um, polo shirt, great for the golf. Um, I don't know, double XL, probably a good size too. Should sell well on eBay. Found a pair of board shorts. So the board shorts were great, they were Nike. Um, pretty much the only thing that was Nike in the entire store. Um, so I had to get these. They're in really good nick. They're a size medium or 32, so that's not too bad. That'll sell well. And they only charged me $5. 
So not too bad either on the board shorts. So they were five. So that was everything from clothing. And then I jumped into the shoes, which obviously you saw earlier. A um, Couple of good scores on the... I bought these women's shoes. Now these need a good clean, but I will say they're a really quality brand. It's um, Supergar or Supergar. I don't know what the wording is, but look, there it is there. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully you can see that. Look, these are a good shoe. Um, I know that the girls at the moment are wearing them. I only paid a grand total of six bucks. Um, don't know if you saw that there. But look, they're really good condition. They're women's size, women's size five US. Um, so they are a smaller shoe, but they're a good quality shoe, really good brand. As soon as I saw them, I'll always get those. And then the big puppies, these boys. Have a look at those. That's some real Marty McFly, Back to the Future type vibes. I don't know too much about these. They just look sick. Um, I've got to do my research, but I've paid in the end $18. And I don't know about that. 18 bucks in an op shop for a pair of shoes. I wouldn't normally do that. The US is a size 10 and a half. So that's kind of cool too. It says Slipstream. It says Trinomic. Um, I reckon these, once I polished up and cleaned up, they're gonna go for a bit. I certainly gonna be more than $18. So I actually asked the girl in the op shop about these and I said, can you do them at a cheaper price? She said she'd go and ask the manager. And then when she did go and ask the manager, the manager just scoffed and said, these came in yesterday. They're a whole lot more than $18. This dude's got a bargain. So she came back and said, sorry, man, we can only do the 18. So I said, look, let's take them, shoot for the stars, hope for the best. Who knows, I'll do some comping. I'll throw it up here if I can find them. Um, yeah, really stoked. Puma high tops. It's two or two days actually. I grabbed a pair yesterday. So Puma high tops are doing well for me. Um, guys, that was a really good score. The grand total of all of those was $52. So a little bit more than I'd normally pay for a couple of things. Certainly the shoes being the number one. Um, but now we're really starting to build up with a fair few items. So um, the day's going really well. We've had three op shops. I'm going to do a couple more op shops. Um, I've got to get home right now though for a sale because the dude's actually said he's got to come a bit earlier. So we're going to rip home. We're going to get that sale done. I'm going to do two more op shops after that and then I'm going to show you the office space. So let's get moving. got you in here guys i might just give you a quick tour of the new office i've created or turned the spare bedroom into an office space and uh, i think it's really going to help me moving forward just obviously more items being purchased more things going out the door you've really got to streamline the setup so this is the new space that i've got um, it's using the old spare room as you can see there the old cupboard in the day in the life last week i actually took you through this space and it was an absolute death pile it had all the junk in the world i'll put a little clip up here of what it looked like last episode go check that out by the way too first ever episode of the day in the life um, but the way the room's set up i've got my trestle table here um, that goes onto my working desk there i've got my cupboard so the cupboard is still the same if you open it up, I've still got all my items. Now, all of those are listed items on eBay and everything's stored in there in the cupboard. So um, it's a great way of keeping it all, I guess, together, neat and tidy. I bought this little bad boy, bought him for 20 bucks. Well, I'm selling it for 20 bucks. I bought him for about $3 in the same op shop. I found these yesterday as well, which are pretty sick. Another pair of Puma, the Puma high tops have just done really well for me so far. Um, and then I've got a little mannequin photo station just here as well. Um, so I've got them Ralph Lauren polo. Picked that up the other day as well. Um, so I'll take my photos with the mannequin. I've obviously got the desk as well that I'll take my photos on just here. Um, these are all the items that I bought today that I've just gone through with you on. Um, so it's great working space. It's a pretty big room. Um, gets the job done. Desk is good. It's got a good view out there too. So I think this is gonna be a much better working space. Um, I'll be able to be a bit more efficient, store things a little bit better. And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what your working station's like and what you do um, to get the job done. If it's from home, if it's from a warehouse, um, if you're expanding where you're housing your things. Um, for me, hopefully the, the cupboard. And I also bought these, um, bought these storage tubs as well. Um, so I got the storage tubs. So I basically just do uh, women and men's shorts, jeans, polos, shirts. So I break it up in a few different ways. I'm probably gonna need to buy a few more of those tubs. 
Um, but for now, it's all working pretty well. So I wanted to show you that today. The new office, it's uh, getting real. managed to get two sales in the space of about a 30 minute period and I really try and do that each and every day you would have seen in the last episode the same sort of scenario where I try and tee up my Facebook collects uh, in the afternoon and if they can be sort of mid-afternoon after lunch um, that kind of really splits my day up well I go out from 9 to 12 and I do all my op shops I get all my items I have some lunch and then hopefully the collects come through around lunchtime 12 1 o'clock and then from there, I've got the afternoon where I can go to the post office, do my listings, things like that. So look, that's happened, two good sales. Um, the first one obviously being that wetsuit, the second one obviously the, the football boots. Um, so it's about $115 right there. I paid in total for the two about $13. So I've made 100 bucks profit off those two items alone. So today, I'm happy with that from a sales front. And I'm also happy with what we've been able to buy today as well. Next thing is I'm off to the, um, the post office. I've got two orders that sold on eBay. Um, so I really need to get them into the post. They sold yesterday, so I'll try and do it within a 24 hour time period. Um, so we're gonna go do that. I won't waste any time. We'll, we'll literally just get that done. And then I'm gonna shoot across to two more op shops because I really wanna get the five op shops in for the day. I just think doing five gives you an opportunity to get some really, uh, get a fair few items basically in the bank for the day. So. If you're only doing this part-time and you only get one day a week, you've really got to try and cash in and go to as many op shops as you can to try and get as much as you can in one hit. Um, then you can spend the rest of the week listing them as you please with the available time that you have. But try and get out to as many op shops as you can. I can't recommend it more on the one day. Just hit them all at once and see how you go. But for now, we're gonna to go to the post office. I'm gonna shoot these off in the mail and we're gonna hit up two more op shops and hopefully find some more gold. So let's go. Op shop number four, huge success. A pair of ASICs in the back, paid four dollars. Gonna sell for at least 25, so really good result. Always get the winner on the ASICs. Last op shop of the day might have just come through with some real heat. I don't know if it's going to be what I think it is, but I've just done a bit of comp searching on this jumper and it's worth about $150, it seems. I bought it and it did have the $25 sticker on it. And I thought, my God, I couldn't pay. Look, the Ferrari, like it is legit. I've had a good search, I've searched all the tags on it. It looks very authentic and very. Yeah, I, I think this is the real deal. And doing a comp search, $150, it was $25. So I've just gone ahead and asked if they could do a cheaper price at the checkout. The two of the loveliest ladies on the checkout ever said to me, how about $15? And I said, yes, thank you, I'll take the 15. So I've just scored this Ferrari Puma Mix um, jumper in pretty damn good condition. I'd say it's probably like an eight, eight and a half out of 10 for quality. Um, I paid $15, so I've just got that there. 15 bucks, nicest ladies in the world, save $10. That's gonna be profit at the end of the day for me. I think the big thing here, guys, is that I wasn't almost gonna go to this op shop. I've got a lady coming at four o'clock to pick up a pair of shoes, and I was just gonna leave it for the day. I was just gonna do my four, but I've said all along, I wanted to do five op shops. So I'll just push myself to the last one. It's a bit later on in the day now. It's about three o'clock, 
and it's come up with the goods. So work hard, hit the op shops, and you will find the gems. They are out there. You've just got to put in the hard work to go out and find them and, and get into all the op shops you can. So op shop number five today, it's killed it. It could be my best purchase of the day. Could be my best purchase of the week, actually. It's a proper Ferrari Puma jumper. It's actually pretty sick. Um, obviously, I bought the ASICs in the last one, op shop number four. So I've just done two op shops, just the two items. But that Ferrari jumper, ooh, I reckon there's some dollars there. Uh, big shout out to the girls at Vinnie's. Thank you very much for reducing the price. It obviously made the sale go ahead at $15 because I feel like that is an absolute steal. Um, but guys, I've got to get back because I've got another pair of shoes, um, a pair of ASICs actually. Um, those were a Gel Kayano. I've sold a pair of Gel Kayanos for 55 So I'm going to go home, get that sale done. And then I've got to list everything that I bought today. I really like to buy and then list straight away. So I'm going to shoot back, get that done, and then obviously just jump into the listings to round out this day. Okay guys, so I'm back at the house. I've done all my op shopping for the day. I've gone to five op shops. We've got a stack of great items. I'm looking forward to getting these listed. The first step in my listing process is I really like to get the price that I paid for every item into my sales tracking spreadsheet. I haven't yet listed the item. I just like to collate a list of what I paid and just cross-reference it with any receipts that I've been given and making sure that I know exactly what I've spent for the day is correct in my sales tracking spreadsheet. So. I'll go ahead and I'll do that with all of these items. They won't be then listed. It will just be collating all that information into the sales tracker. From there, I'll go back through the items and start to list them on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. So it's a bit of a two-stage process. It's maybe not the best way to do it, but it's my way of doing it and it works well for me. So I think the big thing here is just find a process that works best for you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, just whack it all into the spreadsheet and then begin listing. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about four o'clock now. It's been a pretty big day. We've done the five op shops. We've been able to get 14 items. I worked out that all 14 items worked out to just $7.50 a piece. So it's not too bad. I think they're going to flip really well on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've made three sales today as well, as you've seen. That totaled up to be $170. Um, so I'm really happy with that on a daily uh, effort. Um, I've got a lot of listing to do. I've pretty much done everything apart from the actual listing of the items. So it's four o'clock now. I'm going to jump into the listing and make sure they get done today before I go to bed. And I'm going to cut up this video and I'm going to get it to tonight. So it's been a massive day. It's awesome to have you along for the ride. Um, I always get a lot of fun doing these sort of videos, the what's, uh, or I guess the day in the lives. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'll do another one of these videos next week for you as well. Let me know what your thoughts are on the video. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, yep, let me know what you don't want to see. And uh, I'll do my best to do so for you guys. But uh, thanks very much. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure today. Comment below. Let me know what your best, my best find of the week uh, was. And uh, I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.